www.pondscape.us. Man, changing a turtle tank and cleaning it up can be freaking stanky. Sorry about the temporary inconvenience. Sucked out a lot of the dirt and all that, but the main thing I wanted to show you is our main, our makeshift uh, homebrew filtration system. Um, seeing as I have the top off and all that, um, there's a we got a little pump. Show you the pump. Costs about thirty bucks. It's a pretty high powered little sucker. Does a great job. It's done goes to a tube into your average little plastic pick it up at the grocery store sort of um, Tupperware Avon kind of container and then what's mostly in here I mean besides turtle shit <laughs> is um, the same sort of um, ugh. <laughs> yeah the same sort of ick no the same sort of um, foam rubber packing that um, you would use when you're when you're shipping things um, they don't sell it at the post office you'd have to buy it online or if you've got you know remnants from packages you've ordered and you still got that stuff laying around then you could just put it in here um, we've also got a little bit of fish filtration material in here too and a rock to hold it all in place a couple of rocks actually but um, yeah anyway I've only got to actually clean out the filter itself about once or twice a year. That's how good of a job it does. And as you can see, we just cut off the end here. You can see the water going uh, going over the side. And, um, well, it's hard to get a good shot, but you can see the water ripples as the, you know, it's trickling down and whatever. Yeah, this thing does an awesome job, even though from uh, taking out water and sucking out a lot of the dirt and putting in fresh, it's really got things murked up and, and stirred up at the moment. Within the hour, this thing will be immaculately clean. This water will be crystal clear. So this does a damn good job. It's, it's awesome. So, if you want to make yourself an above tank uh, filter here, be it for turtles or goldfish or just some sort of aquatic creature that just gets really dirty really fast and you don't want to be cleaning this stuff out you know once or twice a week or more then um you know the packing stuff you can get cheap or free this little tupperware freaking thing is only going to cost you a few bucks the pump is 30 bucks it's dc it's low volt hardly uses any electricity at all um, speaking of which, I really need to get a couple of turtle lights for these things. We've got a, we've got a fluorescent light here that's normally sitting on the top there. UV is one of the types they need, but there's, a uh, another type they need too. Just, uh, consult a reptile specialist over at a local pet shop, like I have to do, um, over at Ocean Design Aquarium, .pondscape.us. Got to talk to, to Kevin, the reptile guy. And, you know, when I'm in a position to buy the, the lighting that they need, I got to do that. Because it's his theory that my female turtle died due to a calcium deficiency in the shell and lack of proper lighting is how they get the calcium deficiency. So, I don't want that to happen to this little guy here. He's like in his 20s. The female turtle is in her 30s when she died. Really freaking pissed me off because... They were trying to mate and everything, some bitch. Oh well. Anyway, um, so if you want to want to do yourself up a little really badass home filtration system, and you don't want to spend like three hundred freaking dollars, then um, this is a really good way to do it. Um, a larger version of this for smaller ponds would also work. Obviously, not the size of pond that I have, but if you got something that's maybe. You know, three feet deep by four feet wide by two and a half feet, you know, whatever. Um, just a, a smaller pond. Um, a, a little bit of a bigger version of this would work perfect. Yep. www.pondscape.us.